Canada had plenty of reasons to stop making pennies. But once they settled on the decision, how did they make it a reality? So in its economic action plan in 2012, the government announced that it would, uh, would phase out the penny from the, from the Canadian system. Um, there was a transition period, uh, and in 2013, the Royal Canadian Mint stopped uh, distributing pennies. So the purpose of the transition period was just to give a little bit of time for, for businesses and, to, and consumers to prepare for um, the eventual uh, removal of the penny. And so uh, businesses could train employees in terms of uh, how, to, how to round to the nearest nickel. Um, many of the cash registers were, uh, were programmed to automatically round uh, the final digit price uh, to the nearest nickel, of course, for cash transactions only. Uh, not for, uh, for debit or credit transactions. The, the announcement was made on budget night, um, so the world was informed, Canadians were informed, and then we uh, had to physically stop production, uh, and um, we made a bit of a ceremony of that with the Minister of Finance coming out to the Winnipeg plant and, and uh, striking the very last penny. And what we had in Canada is the next day we didn't hear. There was basically nothing in the papers in the following week. There was no disaster. It's true. The first day without pennies wasn't earth shattering. In fact, it wasn't really even without pennies. The Royal Canadian Mint ran a robust campaign to reclaim as many pennies as possible. But Canadian banks will continue to honor the penny as legal tender indefinitely. So you don't have to worry when you discover that giant jar of Canadian pennies in your grandparents' basement. It's still worth, well, whatever a jar full of pennies is worth. Twelve bucks, maybe? So let's say you bring in your jar of pennies, get your twelve dollars in cash from the bank, and then head out to buy a cup of coffee and a sandwich. What do these types of day-to-day -day transactions look like now that the penny is gone? So rounding works like this. Um, individual items are still priced to the penny. So for example, $1.39 or $3.21. It's only the final price at the cash register when you add everything up and then apply your sales tax percentage. Um, it's only that price that gets rounded to the nearest nickel. So for example, if the final cash register price is $10.98, it gets rounded to $11. It gets rounded up. If the final price at the cash register was $11.02, then it would get rounded down. Um, to eleven dollars. So the most you could lose or gain from any one transaction would be two cents. 